Prince William was uh, at doing at, at, at an event in London uh, where he was discussing a lot of issues that affect uh, LGBTQ youth in the United Kingdom. And he was asked a question, and I, like I said in the tease, I think um, the royals, while, while Prince William and Prince Harry have been very, very supportive throughout their lives of the LGBTQ community, um, they don't hear the royals say the word gay a lot. For whatever reason, I don't know if that's a, something the, you know, the queen or somebody has declared that well, they don't I, talk I, about I, it. I, I will say, like, Princess Diana was very big right. with, and a, I think that's with why, AIDS, and, and, and so I think she embraced... Right, and I think that's why William and Harry have always been very supportive, I, I right. but there's something about not saying the word for some reason, but he was asked this question, and listen to how he responded. What do you think about that, in terms of if one of your kids um, would be LGBT? Sure. So as I said next door, I think, I've only started thinking about it since I've had children, really, okay. to be honest, and so it is something I'm nervous about, not because I'm worried about them being gay or anything, it's more about the fact that I'm worried about the pressures, as you yeah. are, and I'm here, yeah. that they're going to face, and how much harder mm -hmm. their life could be. I wish we lived in a world that it was, like you said, fast, really normal and cool, but particularly for my family, in the position that we are in, mm -hmm. I, that's the bit I'm nervous about. Yeah. I fully support, yes. you know, whatever decision they, they make. That was a very honest answer, you know, the fact that he said that he would be very supportive, he has no, he would, has no issue with that, but he was honest about the fact that because they are a part of the royal family that they would be under... Well, and it's not just part of the royal family, hate crimes have gone up in many countries, mm -hmm. including England, uh, you know, in a big way. Yeah. Um, and I, I believe last week on a, a subway, yes. there were two women, two women who were, were attacked. attacked. So it's a real thing about, you know, the, the, you know, homophobia. Yeah, it's a real thing everywhere. I felt so good watching this video because for someone who is like, a, you know, a part of the royal family that so many people look to, like Charles said, I've never heard anyone from the royal family speak about like certain things. It just was good for him to take a side and, and really like say, this is exactly how I feel. He didn't shy away from the question. Right. He put himself in people's shoes and his own children. I thought yeah. that was amazing. I do too. Yeah, I, I, think I really great. think, you know, we say a lot of times that the royal family that they're just you know they're, they're, heads, like, they're pretty they're, they're quiet yeah. but they are very yeah they can be very um it's great impactful it's great that he country, did that so hey my name is rodney from alabama and i completely respect what prince william said about the gay community and i understand his nervousness about having a kid that's gay or bi or trans or anything like that um because being gay or anything in this world right now is kind of scary it's not going to be a walk in the park but I'm glad that he's willing to accept his children for who they are. Yeah. That was really a, a, a really nice cool. expression. Yes, it was.